components of vectors. In this video we'll be looking at vectors and using them to break down motion. Vectors are quantities that are described both by magnitude and direction. When describing them in a drawing, they're best represented with an arrow, where the length of the arrow is the magnitude of the vector, and the direction of the arrow is the direction of the vector. Often we work with multiple vectors, and sometimes we need to add them up. But it's more than just adding up the magnitude of the vectors, because the direction is also important. So the way we can add vectors is when we draw them with an arrow, we add the arrows uh, head to tail, as can be seen in the diagram below. Vector B is added to vector A in the head to tail arrangement, and the result is from start to finish, so it's the start of A to the end of B, and that's denoted by the green line. Now if we have to subtract a vector, it's the negative of the vector, and what that means is we just flip the direction of the vector, put the arrow on the other side. I'm just going to let this animation play out, but here we're adding five different vectors. As with traditional addition in mathematics, it doesn't matter what order the addition is performed in, and you can see in each of these three cases, the addition is performed in a different way, however the result is the same in the end. Vectors can be broken up into components that are perpendicular to each other. So this is very beneficial when we're analysing motion, as the perpendicular components are independent of each other, meaning they don't influence each other. So with motion, we tend to break it up into horizontal and vertical, and then that way it's easier to analyse that motion. In this case, we're looking at velocity being V, uh, which is denoted by the black line, and it's broken up into the vertical and horizontal components. And this can be calculated using the two formulas and trigonometry, as shown on the screen. Now it's important to note that this can only be done when you have a right angle triangle, these formulas, and then with that right angle, that's the independence of the two components. With this question, I'd like you to determine the vertical component of the velocity uh, using the equations that we had on the previous slide. Take your time, feel free to use any resources that you have, open book to get through this. Thank you.